KS Heating and Air, the team ensuring your comfort. The Weather Extreme video, this is the morning edition. This is for Thursday, the 23rd of January. I'm James Spann. Wet weather headlines are forecast today and tonight, but the weekend will be rain-free. What about next week? Let's go in there and check things out. We'll start with the upper air look across the country this morning. Big upper trough to the west. That'll bring the rain in here today. That was the radar composite early this morning at 446. Nobody should be awake at that hour, but some of us are. You see a big mass of rain across our state, more rain off to the west. And as advertised, we are well above the freezing mark this morning with 40s. We stay in the 40s all day today. There's the watch warning map. We've got uh, winter weather advisories for parts of Missouri where they've had some snow and sleet with this. Some of the adjacent states got some fog issues across parts of Texas and Oklahoma. There could be a rumble of thunder somewhere today over South Alabama, but again, for the northern half of the state, the air cold, stable, just rain. Tomorrow, maybe some thunder to the east, no severe weather expected. And day three, which is Saturday, again, a risk of thunder over Texas and Oklahoma, but severe storms are not forecast. Here's the precipitation for the next seven days. Once again, the bigger numbers, western Washington state, western Oregon, northern California, for Alabama, the amounts between one and one and a half inches between now and Wednesday morning of next week. And the bulk of that will be today, tonight, and early tomorrow. So model fans, let's go. Here's the GFS. This is the 06C run, 3 o'clock today. There's your trough, and there's your rain. Uh, we'll have periods of rain today and tonight. We stay in the 40s. Just a good old soaking. Now tomorrow, the rain will be exiting the state. Clouds will linger throughout the day, and we might recover into the 50s, but wouldn't be shocked if some parts of North Alabama stayed in the 40s all day. Uh, so maybe a decent chunk of the day dry, rain ending pretty early. Now, this is Saturday. The day should be dry. The sky partly sunny. Highs low 50s, still a little below average for late January. This is Sunday, again, uh, partly sunny with low 50s. We're watching that little wave in the Gulf of Mexico. And the GFS now trying to suggest that we might see a few sprinkles or some patches of light rain Monday morning with this feature. But the European shunts that thing farther to the south and we're dry. And we will roll with that drier solution for now and not mention a chance of rain on Monday. We'll forecast a mixture of clouds and sunshine with highs in the 50s. This is Monday afternoon. That feature is on by. Tuesday, we're dry. Highs in the 50s. Next wave off to the west. And this is Wednesday. The GFS now suggesting this might not produce that much rain, but the European looks wetter and more dynamic with this feature. So we'll still mention a good chance of rain on Wednesday of next week. Exactly how much rain, I guess, is up for debate. Here's a week from today, Thursday the 30th. Big trough coming into Texas, but we're dry. For the most part, again, the GFS suggesting moisture could linger, but again, the bigger rains and precipitation total should be off to the west with that. Let's go out to Saturday, the 1st of February. GFS depicting a surface low coming right through here with a, a good rain event at this verifies. And the following day, troughing coming through with rain beginning to lift out. But the European gives us kind of a different look. So again, in this active pattern, confidence in a 10-day forecast is typically low. But that would be much colder if that verifies. Here's the rain for Birmingham off the European Ensemble. The mean, 2 to 2.5 two inches over the next 15 days. Temperature is very close to average. Just uh, what you expect here in late January. Highs in the 50s and lows mostly in the 30s and low 40s. This is the CPC outlook for January 30th through February 5th, and this is suggesting brutally cold air for Alaska. But for much of the contiguous United States, temperatures above average. However, this is for that first half of February, stretching this thing out to the 14th. The CPC outlook in their week 3-4 outlook shows below average temperatures for much of the east and south. 
No, winter is not over. It's just starting. And this is the CFS, the climate forecast system, showing temperatures below average over much of the eastern half of the country the 17th through the 22nd of February. There is no way to forecast the weather out here. This is simply based on pattern recognition. But again, the signals are there that it might be pretty cold around here for parts of February. We'll see. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes in the blog. The next video here by 4 o'clock this afternoon. If you can, catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless. Never wait for hot water again with a tankless water heater from Plumbing Experts. Tankless water heaters are easy, convenient, and now more affordable with a no interest financing for up to 18 months. Stop with the cold showers and wasted water and call Plumbing Experts today.